Henry Wynn Stanley is one of the most curious characters in the history of lighthouses. He was an entrepreneur and an entertainer in London. He was famous for Wynn Stanley's waterworks in London, which were these beautiful ornate fountains uh, that showered water over gods and goddesses and were a tourist attraction in London. But he also was interested in navigation because he took the money that he earned from some of his entertainment activities and he invested it in ships. And two of his ships sank after they crashed on the Eddystone Rocks, which are about 14 miles to the southwest of the English port town of Plymouth. So the people in England knew that they had a problem with those rocks and they wanted to build a lighthouse. And Henry Wynn Stanley stepped forward and he said, I'll build the lighthouse. And he spent a number of years building this ornate lighthouse, finished it in 1698. And it did a great job for about five years. And he used to boast about his lighthouse that it could withstand anything that mother nature could throw at it. And he even said at one point that I would love to be in my lighthouse when the greatest storm that ever came upon the coast was in the offing. And he shouldn't have said that. He should have wished for something else because in 1703, he and some of his workmen were at the lighthouse when the quote unquote great storm of 1703 lashed the English coast, obliterated his lighthouse, killed him and his workers, and all that was left on Eddystone Rocks were a couple of the iron pilings that had held his massive stone structure to the rocks.